Now this is by far the most fucked up movie on my list this year. Lars von Trier's Antichrist. The first time I saw it was on Sky Arts. I knew it was a horror and I knew who was in it. I must admit I was confused for the first half an hour by the genre classification. The beginning is shot in this mesmerizing monochrome. Everything is in slow motion. A couple is making love. A child is awakened to see a snow falling out of the crib. A closer look. Must touch. Falling. Devastation. The wife is numb. The husband, who is a therapist, tries to help his wife deal with her grief. This is a human tale, so my bewilderment is justified. Nothing is ticking the horror box for me at this point. Until they leave the city and venture into the woods. Now I'm suddenly thinking the evil dead. But what happened next made me suddenly think of Gaspar Noé's Irreversible. So damn arrogant. But this may not last. Now, like I've said previously, horror has a way of surprising you. But with Von Trier at the helm, whether you like him or you get him or not, he gave us an anus full of razor wire of a surprise. Nothing prepares you for the pure, undiluted terror. And there hasn't been anything like it. <laughs> William Defoe and Charlotte Gainsbourg give epic performances, which is a testament to Von Trier's ability as a director. The first movie I saw of his was The Idiots, the most controversial movie about disabilities. Film 4 was the only channel in Britain with the guts to screen it. And of course it wasn't pleasant viewing. His reputation as a perfectionist grew. Look at Dancer in the Dark, starring Bjork. Like Gainsbourg, she won Best Actress at the Cannes Film Festival. Her experience making it was turmoil. She would greet the director each day by spitting in his face. He drove her to the edge, and I don't think she's made a movie since. Regardless of his ego, his will, he can still pull in big players for his movies. Just look at Nymphomaniac and the house that Jack built. It's Antichrist that is Von Trier's most talked about. He isn't for everybody. His movies are made, in my opinion, for the open-minded. Not for the Daily Mail-esque, quick to judge pockets of humanity out there. Hi, that's Barry Boyd from the Daily Mail. Uh, Mr. Von Trier, would you please, for my benefit, explain and justify why you made this movie. I don't, I don't think I have to justify it. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. This is a Cannes Film Festival, and you brought your film here, and you have to explain why you made it. I, I think it's a very strange question that, that I have to uh, to excuse myself. I mean, I, I don't feel that. I'm, you know, you are all my guests. It's not the other way around. That's how I feel. He knows exactly what he's doing, and his movies are as evocative as they are confrontational. Like Caligula and Cannibal Holocaust, I believe this is one of those few movies that qualifies to be seen by people 
no younger than 21, it's a real head fuck.